Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I have lost well over 110 pounds and I am here today to talk with you about my week, the WW Workshop topic. We're gonna go, we're gonna talk about my weigh-in and we're going to set some goals moving into the next week. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to use me for accountability or talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. It's great for support, accountability, and you can keep up with me a little bit better day to day. So let's go ahead and jump into my week, my weigh-in, the WW Workshop topic, and setting some goals for next week. I hope you guys had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. I had a great week. As you know, last week I traveled to San Diego for a little mini vacation. I returned on Sunday and on Monday was right back to normal. I was back to doing my exercise routine, eating right, drinking my water. I just got right back into my normal routine. And I will say on a side note that I'm pretty proud of myself that during my little vacation to San Diego, I stayed on track really, really well. Now I did have a couple indulgences. I did have a half a piece of sugar-free apple pie. I had some chocolate covered almonds. I had a little extra coffee while I was on vacation, but overall I really stuck to my food and my exercise routine. In Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I shared a recap of my trip, shared some pictures from my trip. So I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it, not to mention lots of good food and a really, really good pasta dinner recipe. I've been walking walking seven days a week and doing strength training three days a week. And if you remember, I did hire a fitness coach. So I've been following the routine that she gave me. And in fact, she actually sent me a meal plan for this next week, step by step for the week. And I'm going to try it out and see how I do with that meal plan. I'm someone that likes a little bit of variety and I kind of want to eat the foods that sound good, especially for snacks throughout the day. But she wanted me to try this meal plan to see if it helps with hunger, satiety, and really helps me out when it comes to my fitness routine. So that's what I'll be focusing on this next week is the meal plan that she gave me as well as continuing continuing my seven days a week of walking and my three days of week of strength training. I've also been really focused on my water, at least getting in half of a gallon to a gallon every single day. And I'm not allowing myself fun drinks like a second coffee during the day or maybe some iced tea or flavored water until I have finished my at least half of a gallon of water every day. And that's really helped me get my water in. I've also been really, really focused on my protein since starting an exercise and strength training routine. I find that if I hit my protein goal every day, it helps keep me full and satiated throughout the day. And I find that I'm a little less cravy of maybe not so good foods when I'm really focused on protein. I know that this is a question I get asked all the time from my coaching clients in comments here on YouTube and my Facebook group. Tell me about protein. How do you get in your protein? What are your favorite protein foods? I am actually going to be doing a whole protein video. So stay tuned for that coming your way in the next few weeks. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss it. Before I jump into this week's weigh-in, I wanna talk with you guys a little bit about this week's WW Workshop topic, and that is how to find the right portion size for you. We're not all created equal. Every body is different. Every body requires different portion sizes and different food intake throughout the day. So we need to find the portion size that works for us. Let me let you in on a little secret. When it comes to filling your plate, there isn't a standard portion size. Everybody's plate is going to look a little bit different, whether that be the carbs on your plate, the vegetables on your plate, or the protein on your plate. Choose the portions that work for you, not the portions that work for someone else. Some ways to really determine the right portion size for you is number one, serve yourself. Maybe your favorite food ever is ice cream. Serve yourself a scoop or a portion of ice cream that looks right for you. Tip number two is to size it up. Take that scoop of 
ice cream and actually measure it out. See exactly how much the right portion for your eye ends up being on the food scale. Is it more than a traditional portion size of a half of a cup, two thirds of a cup of ice cream? Number three is to check the personal points value or if you track calories and macros, check the calories and macros in the serving size that you served up, regardless of whether or not it's the actual serving size on the back of the carton of ice cream. See how your portion impacts the points, calories, and macros. And number four is to reflect and revise. Does the amount of ice cream that you served up work for your points budget, your calories, or your macros? If it does, cool. Eat the ice cream and enjoy it. But if it doesn't, or maybe it's a little bit more than you want to spend points wise or calorie wise, go ahead and adjust your serving size accordingly. Just because you served up that amount of ice cream doesn't mean you need to eat that amount of ice cream. You can simply put it right back into the carton. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this figuring out what's the right portion for us. Let's think about cookouts and barbecues. It's summer, so those are pretty much a tradition for a lot of people. Next time you're at a barbecue, a cookout, or a family event, look around. Look at everybody else's plate. I can guarantee you not everybody's plate looks exactly the same. Some people might have more of one food item than others. Some people might have their plate overfilling with barbecue and other people may have just a small amount of everything. What keeps one person full and within their point or calorie budget isn't going to necessarily keep the next person full and within their point or calorie budget. There's no be all end all to whatever food that you're interested in eating. The key here is to find the right portion for you. What is the amount of the food that keeps you full and satisfied? What's the right amount of food that stays within your points or calories? Having these amounts locked in and really knowing your portion sizes can be a big game changer in weight loss. And it's really important to check in with your portion sizes regularly. Maybe the portion size that you're eating now may not be the portion size that you eat down the road, or maybe you're increasing or decreasing your physical activity and your portion size will need to either increase or decrease based on that. If you're making moves towards your weight loss goal or you're at a plateau or you're always hungry and struggling, looking at your portion size can really have a big impact on this. There is no one size fits all. So make sure that the portions that you're choosing fit in your lifestyle and are beneficial for you. I really like this topic because I always tell my coaching clients and people who ask me how many calories I eat every day or why do I get so many points or so little points every day, it's really tailored to me. Just like your diet, your points, your calories, your macros, your portion sizes are tailored to you. So don't get caught up in social media or what your friend, your family, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle are doing and really focus on what's right for you. This is where you're going to see results. Now let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. I'm about a week post vacation. As you know, I lost 0.6 last week prior to heading out for vacation. And in the past, I would always gain weight on vacation. It might not be a lot. It may be ounces, a pound, two pounds, but I usually always gain weight on vacation. I'm outside my normal element. I'm eating outside of my normal foods. Maybe I'm not getting in as much activity. Although this vacation, I got in a lot of activity and I really focused on, like I said, my food and my water. And I came back from this vacation with a loss. I am down one 0.1 pounds this week. So just a hair over a pound and I will absolutely take it. My scale has still been doing a lot of this from my new exercise and strength training routine. So at the end of the week, if I see the scale go in the right direction, I'm thrilled. Whether it's ounces, a pound, two pounds, it doesn't matter. It's going in the right direction. And like I always say, point this, point that adds up to a pound. So never, ever, ever be discouraged with a maintain, a point this, a point that, or a weight loss every week in general. I'm really happy with my 1.1 loss and I'm looking forward to seeing the scale go in the right direction this week as well. I wanna hear from you guys on how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? Was it what you expected when you stepped on the scale? And do you know what the right portion size is for you? Or was this topic really helpful in determining that? I know for me, it's something that I need to revisit frequently. Am I eating too much or too little or is this continuing to be the right portion size for me? So. I I really, really like this topic and I think it's 100% relevant for everyone. Let me know down in the comments everything about your week. I love hearing from you guys. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload 
five days a week and Friday is always a weigh-in day. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching. I highly recommend taking advantage of that as well as links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.